Hey guys, welcome to another snow break video and it's about time that we do a little bit of a preview of Katya skills. This information I had to had to translate from from uh, Billy Billy so that we could have an advanced, you know, look at her skills and a translation, a rough translation of the text of her skills. So, let's move on to what um she has for her skills. So we have here, these are just GIFs um, of um, GIFs of her skills. So these are not videos. So these repeat over and over. This is the first part and this is the second part. Mostly intros to her skills. We'll go straight to this one. So this is going to be her um, standard skill. So basically her standard skill is is it's actually nice to look at but again we'll have to look at the translation the translation is actually this one from this one that i made here so let's take a look at the translation here this is her standard scale so travel travel through hades so cast it's not it's not even cut it's cassia client so switches to third guide form third third guide form is basically her burst form she cannot move uh but will exit if you do a dodge okay so in this form as well you can restore regular energy and each shot will consume additional regular and e regular energy and and after the regular energy is exhausted she will exit the third guide form as well so the form has three x's actually not two so the first one will be a dodge the second one is when she exhausts all the energy with that burst damage for the standard skill and the third one is let's just go through this her resistance will be improved hopefully it would be better than frisha hush's um ultimate so during this period the final damage caused by shooting item disruptive power and burst energy obtained are reduced this pertains to the uh interruption of the damage she's going to be receiving then in this form katya obtains different firing speeds according to the crossbow mode i'm no i don't know what this is yet this is um still up for you know for us to know when you no know, the game launches with her and using walk through Hades, so traveling through Hades, if you use the skill again, you can end the first one. It's kind of confusing, actually. So after exiting, exiting third guidance form, walking through Hades begins to calculate the next interval in which, <coughs> in which this, sorry for that one, this refers to um, the skill cooldown again refreshes. So this is again guys her um burst skill for her standard skill three 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 exits for that so dodging then exhausting of energy and casting the skill again okay for the um support skill so we have here it's actually very obvious so she actually does freeze a couple of enemies right in front of um abscondites haru and she makes sure that they don't obviously move and it's going to be i think on a limited area as you can see there she there's a cone area in which she shoots that as a support skill but let's go to the actual text for that one so it's called explosive messenger Katya climbs forward, winter wind arrow towards the target in the field vision. So it's going to be a cone target after the explosion. Winter wind arrow causes a low temperature damage and applies a freezing effect. So freeze damage, freezing effect. I'm not sure yet on what the duration is, but this is actually very basic. So she is also going to be kind of a good support. Um, kind of the opposite for um, for life at this point, giving you also a freeze support uh, skill. The last one is going to be her ultimate skill. So as you can see there, as she fires a lot of arrows uh, with that animation, um, it tracks the target wherever it goes. So it has a wide range area 
um i think the arrows give it a bit of a slow because of the freeze damage let's go through the actual um text for that skill here so we have eloquent speech shoots into the sky dropping deception arrow rain with a tracking effect on the target so as, as you can see there it was being followed causing low temperature damage once every certain time and deception arrow can last for a certain period of time so there's no slow in the text but it tracks the enemy where it goes and lastly is going to be her passive skill okay inheritance of deception each shot has a certain probability of obtaining empowering effect that will shoot an additional low temper temperature damage of a certain percentage to the attack power so this is just additional um frost damage if i may say for every 10 alignment index the damage multiplier will be additionally increased so this is actually very simple uh straightforward and i hope the damage is going to be significant for this one so um her skill is her her kit is basically very straightforward so she has freeze she has uh she has she has frost sorry she has freeze damage um she does have burst damage and i think for her skill she is going to be used more for single targets uh bosses perhaps she'll be very very good so hopefully that is actually going to be accurate because if it's that we're not sure yet on what the crossbow mechanic looks like on the regular attack damage so these are just her skills including her passive skill so that we will have to look at because the crossbow uh weapon type is actually new we'll have to take a look at that and explore that as the update arrives so what i what do i think of her skills i think it's worth a look i'm actually curious on where we can bring her in certain stages of the game Will she be a redundant type of unit? Because we do have single... Uh, we do have Yao already for Sniper. So, again, she does have to bring a separate, you know, separate, unique game to the table for us to be able to pull for her and use her. But I'm going to be pulling for her anyway. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Um, put your comments in the comment section. Take care, stay safe, this is The Warden, and I'm out of here.